Before you set up your smart thermometer, you're going to want to make sure that your thermometer is fully charged or plugged in. You should have the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that you plan to use with the thermometer in front of you, as well as the name and the password of your home's Wi-Fi network. The first step is to download the Smart Thermometer app from the Apple App Store. Once you have the app, open it and it will walk you step-by-step -step through this setup process. First, turn on your thermometer by selecting the On button on the back. After you press and release the button, it will take a few seconds for the thermometer to turn on. Once it's on, you'll be able to find the thermometer's Wi-Fi signal on your phone. To do that, leave the Smart Thermometer app and go to Settings on your iPhone or iPad. In Settings, tap Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is off, tap the Off button to turn it on. On the bottom of your thermometer, you will find a unique identifier for the thermometer. Look for this name on your Wi-Fi network list, select it, and go back to the Smart Thermometer app. You've completed the step of connecting your phone to the Smart Thermometer's Wi-Fi signal. The next step is to tell the Smart Thermometer the information that it needs to connect to your home Wi-Fi network. The app will ask you to provide your home Wi-Fi network name and password. These fields are case sensitive, so make sure that you input everything with the correct capitalization. After you're done, the app will send your home Wi-Fi information to the Smart Thermometer. Once your smart thermometer is on your home Wi-Fi network, you'll see a Wi-Fi symbol appear on your thermometer. If you don't see this, the app will allow you to go back and re-enter your home Wi-Fi network name and password. If you continue to have trouble connecting, troubleshooting tips and reset instructions are available on William Sonoma's website. You can now go back to settings and change from the smart thermometer Wi-Fi network to your home Wi-Fi network. Once completed, the app will then prompt you to log in or create an account. The benefit of signing in is that you can access your cooking history, store notes about and take pictures of what you're cooking, and share your pictures and notes with friends. And now you're all set up and ready to get cooking. As long as you continue to use the same home Wi-Fi network, the smart thermometer will remember it. So you don't need to do this setup each time you want to cook with your thermometer.